good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world. And thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK. I'll be your caster and cameraman for today. And I am running once again for the same time in the same day with Nine Nah. How you doing, my friend? I am doing excellent, MK. We've been blessed with a wonderful Friday of Left 4 Dead 2, starting it off with Ascendant versus the boys in the favela. Yeah. And now we're taking it over into Bot versus Babylonia over here on Detour Ahead, yes. out of the water there on Haunted Forest. So if you are going to let that uh, campaign through, you got to be 100% on it. Absolutely, and there we go. We're going to get this game along the For way, sure. Nal. It is going to be Babylonia playing first with their uh, it, uh, survivor side. Bot on Infected. And here comes the opening attack, which is going to be under this, un uh, right when they transition the underpass. Hunter is up, Jockey Rockets in, Charger straight from the bottom, lands, successful charge spit. And he has, ooh, he could just back into a corner to avoid damage there and all. Less than 5% opening hit, and a lot of map to go. Yeah, getting bailed out a little bit with that safety corner, of course. They are going to be headed towards the choke point. Always uh, kind of a variable spot. There's a number of places that the teams can choose to hit here. Uh, boom plus three. Hunter immediately spawning in on the back line. Hops up top. And we'll see if they make it all the way to that classic choke point or if Bot has other plans in mind. Yeah, it's going to be Tricap Boomer, though. Oh, they're going to go now, now. They're sending it. Pull in the back. Ooh, nice skeet there, now. No damage coming out, really. Beautiful skeet out. Spooky. They are going to have the free pass through the choke point, but the thing is, Bot is pretty much guaranteed to have a hit in this house that stands about halfway through the chapter. Uh, it can also often be a Pretty impactful one. You see, we've already got the uh, charge spit in there. We've got the hunter smoke joining. High damage potential here that Babylonia is facing down. Two hits in. They haven't taken a whole lot. Let's see if the uh, pattern gets broken here in the house. And they will land the hunt spit with a couple of charge smacks, keeping Roselle in there. And that's going to be some nice damage spread, actually. Bring him down to 83.6%. Uh, still got I Miss Her on 96. Actually, it goes down to 95. The rest of them right around 70s. And here we go now. First tank of the game. 14 bot into the hands of Bravo. And his roster rundown will be Purple Acer and Ramirez. What do you think about Babylonia there? For Babylonia, we got Usatsuki. Mila J, Spooky, and I miss her. And uh, I tell you, what an explosive way to kick off a match. Bravo, very first tank in here. Let's see if he can't set the tone here. Gonna be bringing in the car. And uh, did have some sacks come out. Nothing major damage-wise. Hunter Jockey Smoker, they should be pretty pleased with this. Just gonna be waiting for that car to come in. For sure here, no. I think I think you're right. I think he's not gonna no one charger. They're gonna play just protect around the tree probably and commit. There's no bleed, and this is gonna be it. Probably hits his car a little bit more out in the open. Maybe one more rock or two. Nope. He's happy with it. The SI kinda separated. Hunter's gonna pre-spawn. Ooh. He wants this bad. Okay, he's gonna leave it there. Oh, he gets the punches pretty far. Smoker can alley to the car. Oh, it gets clear. Oh, it just misses. The jockey and hunter are flying around. He switches Ooh. the car. It misses Rochelle. Oh, this is quite a turn of events. And there's a skeet. Bravo is yeah. all alone now. I don't think too much is gonna become of this tank here. No, I think that's it. I think he's dead. Yeah, love the aggression out of Babylonia here. Six, 600 health, we got the charger, he is going to go down, exactly like he said. Three quarters of the bonus left, I don't know, Bot's been looking pretty scary lately, but Babylonia showing him up here early, very close with the smoke car, as well as just the dry car, but ultimately no car. And we got two hey, seconds out. left on Bravo before he's up, the survivors do start to slow it down. As we got this cliffside hit, 
Two, two. Smoker charges. Still got the death charge potential, obviously. Smoker gonna try to set it up. Smoker getting hunted down. We'll get finished off. Charge spit. Let's see if he can't land something here. 821 bonus remains, and they are gonna go wide and whiff. A narrow pathway here with the spit. Actually gonna buy some time. Might have some spawns back up, but 800 bonus left, MK. Wow. He has a lot of bonus, but they just walked through a ton of spit at the end go. there. I don't yeah, know if we realized yeah. that they just threw away. They'll get some scratches with the last two here. Jockey up, Hunter up. They're going. The Jockey was late, and they'll be able to get out. And they walk in with 796 points. Oh, no, it's actually 800 even. They rounded up. So they have yeah. 1,300 points. And it, has, is, it is expected to get high scores on this map. Not hard to get a wipe with the tank there. And the car just not cooperating, nor the Smoker able to get that... Uh, tank the alley oop with a cop car. Yeah, and again we got that late tank. Uh, oftentimes an early tank can get an in cap here, get at least one or two people slow, this and road. they got to deal nope. with that right. as the can't or as the chapter progresses. But with this being a late tank, they're really able to just gun it through the hits straight in, not taking much damage at all. And yeah, it's easy for points to come through on chapter one, but 1300, bots got their work cut out for them here. Hunt, jockey, charger, spit. Let's see what Babylon can do at the overpass. They are gonna send it in. Nice charge with the spit. Jockey ready to go back in. Are they gonna kill him? Okay. Not too much. Of course, bot wipes it up, presses forward. I take it a little bit more cleaner, Nom. Not by much. Yeah. It's like like a percent. That's about it. It's kind of not a bad take at all. He, he, both teams doing less than 5% with an opening spot. And the second tack coming up is probably going to be in the exact same spot as bot's going to slow it down a little bit. Clear out the commons. The pings are pretty even here, Nom. No one's really terribly high. They should be able to see a lot of shutdown skeets and, and whatnot in commons not be a problem. And some aggression by the survivors, which we love to see so much. And here comes that tri -gap. Oh, what is Skeet coming out? And the death order, the charger will land, but the death order is questionable now. They are not going to have a charge spit on the inside. And they're actually keeping that smoker, which is questionable. No, they okay. will. They, Hello? Okay. Okay. They're going to have a on 11 HP. bad hit coming in here now. Definitely. Bad hit. Bad hit. I think Definitely. it's a 2 2, isn't it? Reloading. Yeah, it is. It sure is. Reloading. And uh, we saw this spot be where Bot got the bulk of their bonus out of Babylonian's hands before the tank. And this is just, like you said, not the ideal setup. We'll see if they can't have some creative strategizing here. We got the above and below setup. Coach goes inside, use out some commons, get some ammo. They do some big split, kind of inviting an attack. Reloading. Ready for that. Got the other survivors checking the corners, etc. And it comes. Spit early. Jockey carries over the windowsill, but everything gets cleaned up, and they're over 90% left. With the tank coming in, nice little scratch, but still very healthy. 100 HP, still on purple at this point. Yeah, purple being stingy with the health, but the tank will be up now, and it's going to be the first one for Babylonia in the hands of I Miss You. And big tank coming up here for his team, mm -hmm. because all he really needs to do is get... Uh, any hits at all, Nan? I think they accept, no two hits will be a better tank, right? I think so. Any kind of setup, either with this initial car that he's bringing in, or the police car, would obviously be a, a, not a massive swing, but a big swing in Babylonia's favor. Uh, yeah, I think you're right on point. They they've got about a, a 183 bonus advantage headed into this tank. Uh, so it really is just a couple smacks away and of course we got the clip side hit after that which can also be quite scary so it's looking like this is gonna be the dub for Babylonia we'll see by how much unless bot can have 
just picture perfect execution. They send in the boom, they send in the charger. They got the smoker jockey going for the hunter as well. And we're gonna see the tank engage with that car. Gonna be struggling to get it over the railing here, which is a common theme. So he's got one on one side of the railing and he's got the police car on the other. The typical setup here. Is he gonna try to hit it over? Okay, he's just gonna go for the engage here. Hops over the railing. Smoker on the top car. Quick clear onto Bravo. That is going to save them an in cap with the car for sure. He's gonna try to hit that. Oh my god, it didn't need too much. Just a little bit up and over. Jockey on the head. Chaos car dead again. Two go down. Wow, okay, the smoke clear initially was very quick, but the follow-up after Acer went down was not cutting it, and they are going to try to do a grind out here. Actually, he's got 1k HP left. He's chilling for the moment, a little bit of attrition, but you got the smoker, you got the jockey. Interested to see the angling he goes for. Okay, doesn't quite have the grind, doesn't get it. Invest a lot there. Maybe could have been better suited for not, I mean, obviously in hindsight, go for the grind out was not the option. Uh, since he missed, duh, but it was looking like he did have that in the bag, just falling a little bit short. But still, look at the bonus here, MK. Yeah, I mean, they, they did pretty darn good at the beginning, juking everything around, but when the spawns came in, unfortunately, yeah. that car got a bank shot, got one survivor down, purple almost Real died. But the DB was protected, and for that reason alone is why their bonus is still kind of high at 571 points. And if they shut this down, this is only a 230-point game after one map with at least three more chapters to go now. We got this last chance hit. Bot, in the meantime, has walked it all the way through. Babylon, you're going to set up at the tail end here. Got to be careful about letting the survivors just walk it in if they get too... No, let's go. Are they just going to hold W? Oh my god. Okay, they do chill out a little bit. Bravo runs it in. He runs it out. We've still got the honor ready to go. We got Hunt, Spit, Smoker, Mila J. Not going to have a spawn there. Hunter trying to get a ways in. Nice speed. Everything has been cleaned up. Desperation Spit. Jockey is going to try to find a spawn in. Try to catch Coach. Yeah! He finds him. He brings him the corner. Takes him. A good amount actually coming out there. Nice catch. Making the best out of what they had there. Unfortunate disconnect into the the spawn timer, but he made it work. Yep, they sure did. They made it work. Now it's, it's absolutely correct. But look at that. We have four digits by both teams put up. This is a, yeah. a close game. No one has any commanding lead whatsoever. I mean, they did both make safe room. There was two in caps set one out on one side. No in caps on the other. And only having that much point delta is actually pretty impressive because map one is worth a bunch of points now. 500 distance is a lot of points for map one to only have this little bit of a delta. Right. Right. And look at the tank. 52%. I think that's it right around the big rig if I remember correctly. Ah. Halfway through the map by, by where the hatchback is. But, we'll our, see. but also our spot the three one with the charge hunt jock we got explosions all over the place some minefield here on chapter two so far babylonia with the league gonna be doing their best they bait out the spawns walking straight back Watch out. Charger. oh my goodness the bait is for real here trying it to get is. him to come out the hunter gets shot a little bit so does the jockey and it's baiting season. Yeah. Here it Oh, the charger gets picked a little bit. Oh. Rochelle's out of position. Oh, there they go. Okay, they full set here. And wow. nothing really comes out no from it. No way. Good Whoa. shutdown. Yeah, beautiful S. I mean, the, the SI pressure was real. That was exactly the hit that they could have hoped Reloading. for there. And Babylonia shuts it reload. down. It is really cool to see this low ping game. Rochelle, I mean, she chipped down. All, uh, they were all getting chipped down. Every single point of damage matters in a situation like that. And that was just immaculate performance Reload. out of Babylonia. They do have the potential house hit here. Reload. Which they are going to walk in, shop for a bit. Jockey spawns way up in the sticks. 
smoker. Connecting. Charge. Oh. Also. <laughs> and the jockey on the head. Double boom. Now, did you see the charger just M1 from the hill and actually got it? <laughs> yes, yeah. all he did. He just M1. Yeah. He hail Mary that it worked. He got it. He said, Jesus, take the wheel. Mi uh, Misty charge for those that keep track for old timer ah. for, for the old uh, slang throwback term. But right now, for the second tank for Team Bot, now we're going to have Ramirez. And he is going to try to bring the extra car, which really isn't going to come into play. I don't think he should even bother with it, but he is going to choose to bring it with him nonetheless. Yeah. Okay, they try to hit. Okay. We'll get cleaned up, the jockey as well. Um, I guess don't have much to lose. They they were kind of caught up there, but you can see that uh, that other car kind of fell. It didn't like the blue car didn't really make too much distance. So, you know, just gonna be eventually ditches the car anyways. Just keep smacking in this blue one. He's got the van as well. Ooh, nice hit. Uh, but it's gonna get caught up. It, it's just it's just making it so that they are trapped in there. And even with these cars all getting hit in, sometimes we still see teams in certain fringe scenarios where they still take it outside and do fine. He's not even going to hit the van. He just wants that blue car in, maybe the top car, and he's going to send it. Yeah, I think that's just there to make sure they don't come out. No, you know what I mean? Exactly. Man, what's coming out to be very dangerous, and they have cars on both sides of the... Uh, Gas station pumps. I like it. He gets one shotgun blast in. They get him down to 5,775. But this is going to be Ramirez's commit. And he is on the awning waiting for the drop. And he is through the window. Not to the wall. But he got Nick cornered. Oh, he got him cornered. He ain't getting out either. Oh, he switches targets Ooh. to a double. He's taking everybody so far. He's going ham. Oh, what a ski coming out. There's a pole outside. And I don't think he's going to get anything more than that. But what spread coming out here from Ramirez. Not choosing to take the in cap. I wonder if that's going to come into play later and hurt them. Or if it's going to work out as he's probably just going to get killed off here. Yeah, it, I mean, that was pretty much all solo damage out of Ramirez. There was the slight smoker for a while trying to set up for a car. Um, and that, again, could have been helpful to have that van and have a third angle of attack. Maybe smoke pull into one of those vehicles, but it wasn't meant to be. The jockey gets cleaned up easily. The other SI did as well without doing anything. So you got to hand it to Ramirez for all the damage he was able to put in. And since the tank is dead and all, it's going to be a 2-2. And so they'd be difficult for the jockey and charger to do much here. Oh, the charger oh. does land, but the jockey couldn't find a spawn. And they're going to go with quad try during the event. Just uh, run-of-the-mill setup here. Standard. Um, you know, you got the, the, the CIs coming in. And you also got the lack of vision around these... Reloading. Unfortunately, not air fields. It's just going to be the plywood, and uh, it does Reload. create a situation where they can get attacked from many different angles. Now it's just on where is this, are they going to choose to send it. We see where the smokers had Ooh, pretty standard boom. spot. Oh, they got a boomer. I thought it was a quad. Yeah, no. me too. Interesting. Get the smoke from behind through the side. Actually, not gonna get the fear, but unfortunately, the jockey takes the same target. You're not able to get the uh, 2 2 situation on the back line. Everything gets cleaned up with ease again. You're gonna have the boom, not even able to find one. And they're gonna be able to hightail it through here. We've got a potential army tent hit that's really the last place you wanna send that hit. Otherwise, they can just gun it all the way through and finish the chapter. Yeah, it's it's a risk. It's risky. They gotta land. I think they gotta go here though. If they let him, they gotta land. They're backing off. Yep, they're gonna full send here. I agree with this. Oh, what a charger! Oh, he gets melted. No, the clears yeah. were supreme and quick, and the spinner misplayed and didn't go on the hunter. The damage will be only a couple of percentages, but it does dip under 50. And more important, it slowed them down enough that they can't push the the safe room. They have to go right. turn the event off and wait. Exactly. I miss her. Caught up uh, on the other side of the spit. He does have to slow it down, and the team will as well. Got another boom in the mix. Three-one with the boom. 
charge your hunter's smoker. Hunter's already spread. The wow, they're sending this in. Pulling a down, but again, a charger completely obliterated by Babylonia. This has been happening all night so far. Uh, the chargers really have not been able to get in. What quick clears out of Babylonia, and they are going to be approaching that final hit. And look, Acer still has 12 seconds left, MK. Yeah, they're going to get in. They can only hit at the safe room while the smoker misses. Here comes uh -oh. the jockey at the safe room. It could probably delay a little bit. They get the charger. This yeah, is big damage here and all. Do they land it or do they not? And they do not. They land it. They do. Okay. Still got the jockey to reckon with. It wasn't... I mean, it wasn't ridiculous damage here. They had the charge spit, which of course was good. They lock it up. Another thousand pointer plus for Babylonia. And as we take it over to bot survivor side, remember, straight out the gate, got a pretty daunting hit right in front of him. Jockey Hunter Charger Spit. This is going to set the tone. Quick ready ups, both sides ready to play this out. Bond's already in. Baiting is coming out again, though. <laughs> Both sides, yeah. of course. Heavy, heavy bait on the first hit. Charger chipped, but Jockey is not. Hunter's not even pre spawned. And this hit opening hit could do so much. They catch Ellis in the spit. Will they keep a minute? Yes, they will. He goes back down the spit. Jockey's turn. He will go down. Okay, at least the Jockey goes down there. 6% hit. Not bad from Babylonia. All hell does not break loose. Reloading. They keep it contained, but still a solid hit. Indeed it is, and they are through the fence. They have at least one more attack, I would say. I don't think they get two more. This will be it. They've taken 6% on the opening hit. All on one survivor, though. That means four, three survivors are still five punches yet. And I know the infected do not want to let that happen. The hunter gets skeeted. The pool goes out. It's not cleared quickly, but it still keeps that survivor five punches. Never mind. He ran through the spit. Or he got scratched by the spitter, so that'll be two survivors under. And Ramirez is under down to 55 now. Yeah. Reloading. He could be a tank target in the commit and all, even when he pops kills. Theoretically, that's the right play to, do, to go for. We'll see if there's any hit on the run back. Not going to have cars in range, obviously, but we got a Jockey Hunter Charger. They are looking to send it from the side. All three from the same side. Jockey, hello! Straight out to coach. Tries to pull him around the van. Okay, going to line up for the charge. We'll just be a stumble. And nice skeet to finish it off, but again, look at the damage coming out. That was worth almost, that was worth like 3%. Acer took it all too. 100 down to 80. Yep. Looks like there was a little friendly fire involved in that as well, Maul, if I saw correctly. I'm pretty sure it wasn't all disinfected there, but <laughs> yeah. everybody trying to get their damage in shooting. They're going to sack the smoker for sure. The smoker's pretty much useless in this scenario. Even the boomer. Is anybody paying attention to the boomer? The boomer gets M2. That's a big pop. No, that's huge. Yeah. Now he's going to have to commit with just his try cap. It's going to be all, it's going to be just the sur survivors against the SI and the tank on this commit. I like this van setup as well, just wedged in between there. It's such a big vehicle. Hey, exactly, he's got the other angle covered by the police car with that blue car blocking the entrance. I like that setup by Spooky. Charger Jockey Hunter for the rest of the Babylonia squad. And he drops it in, he's sending it straight in. Gonna get an initial hit on Rochelle as well as corner her. Continuing the hits. 
in come the SI, charge, not gonna find it, Hunter goes down, Jockey on the head though, and not gonna be able to get covered, the tank can play this conservatively, 1300 health left, he walks into the side room, they are going very aggro, my god, I cannot believe that, Rocky is gonna go back out, running from room to room, 500 HP left, just waiting for Acer to go down, another coverage, Rock, beautiful, one, two, punch, can he get him in the corner, he does go down to a frying pan to the face, out of Bravo, we've got the pool, or I'm sorry, Ramirez, but still they're trying to run interference here. Spit comes out, not going to allow the pickup. And Bot still struggling to pick up their survivors, pick up the pieces, keep it present. But one thing is for sure, they are going to struggle very much to match this. They have already lost this one, actually, uh, at, even right now as it stands. So well done by Babylonia. Bot will keep it pressing, but a heavy hit. Yeah, that tank oh, did know. so much damage and all. Know. That was huge for Babalanya. Massive going out there. 377 is the only thing the home. survivors have left. And they have all the map to go through. No more pills. I have the feeling this and might not be the greatest right. ending for Bot. They need to shut down these spawns and get through this event as fast as they can. Specifically, this quad. I'm interested to see, right do they send it now and they have an awkward, okay, the spawns are in, I like it, gonna send it in here quick, the smoker trying to get a super cheeky spawn, they send it in, charges, go YOLO, and he finds Bravo too, he gets a smackdown, and they will be able to clean it up eventually, uh, but they're gonna be taking some damage in the meantime, gonna go down another 60 or so points. And Ramirez is going to be slow in less than five seconds, which is big for their for the infected, because now they're going to get more attacks. I don't think they're going to find any pills, and the DB is everywhere, so points are going to go down very quickly here. And all, I would be I would think it'd be a win if Bach can just make it to safe room with no points. Yeah. I'm right there with you. Another hit for the Brooks. Hunter is in. Charger going almost nowhere close. But regardless, they bring it. Okay, they keep the spit. They keep the spit. Gonna have 3 1 with the spit here. Yeah, and they are crawling now. Look at this crawl. The spit is trolling. Ooh. He gets the block on the coach, too, which is gonna cause them to slow down again. And it's a snowball effect. Like they're bleeding out. The, the spitter can just slow them down like that. And it hits them hard because they're all bleeding out. And they're so slow as well. The army can't hit. Charges with the stumble. Smoke full with the charger smacks. And, you know, it's not incapacitating quite yet. But Ramirez sitting there on 1 HP in a dream. Yeah, they're trying to get him out into an advantageous spot to do this down and pick up. They need to turn this event off. If they go, if they just push forward, it's so risky. And now Bravo is at a de de connect, uh, disconnect from his his team to turn this off. It looks like it's going to be okay, but they're going to send it. Boomer lands, Hunter lands, it clears instantaneous. They go for the in cap, they get it. The jockey will latch on. It's more damage, and they're going to survive. They're going to have a survivor black and white. They'll still have points on Bravo though, now, nah, but not much. They are desperately trying to hold on to what they can. As you can see, they've still got a potential of about 100 distance that they can rack up. So they got to make decisions kind of, you know, do we protect Bravo's HB? Do we try to get all of our survivors across the finish line? Can we do both? Uh, would that be too greedy? These are the kinds of questions. Obviously not actively thinking, but just on the... Reloading. Reloading. The... Uh, just like the sub level going on as they approach right here. Charge, will grab, be quick, stands up in the spit, smoker. And the alarm is popped, but the survivors are slow, but it looks like they're gonna cross the finish line here in okay. And they'll get in there with four points, it looks like. I don't know if they're gonna get it though. I don't think they're right. it's gonna register because it doesn't say one points in HP. But maybe they'll get the four points and see if it gives it to them. No, it don't. But they do get the full 600 distance. That is correct. And they'll keep it within a possibility of making a comeback. Definitely. Definitely. 
Um, the big moment for Bot because after that tank, things really could have gone downhill a lot faster than they did. So big respect to them for making it in, getting the 600 points, cashing that in. And now we had we had to quite a chaotic chapter in chapter three. That is 100% facts. This opening hit alone right here now is devastating to take for both teams. I mean, and it's actually the first time that they haven't got the Hunter Charger Jockey Spitter. The first two hits, they both had the greatest hit to open up with, and now they don't have it. But I can tell you what, now if they did have it, it would be devastating for this opening hit to have a Hunter Charger Jockey Spitter on this fire escape. But instead, yeah. they're going to exchange that Charger for a Boomer, it would seem. What do you think? Tank at 40% as well? Yeah, I mean this this hit can be so deadly no matter what. Obviously, would have preferred the charge. No, oh, that tank. That's the tank. You know where that's at. This is this is the yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be yeah. interesting. I I love it from a caster perspective, but oh my god, it is bonkers. We'll see how it plays out shortly. Also, we'll see how the team's set up for it, but the hit is in. Nice speed. Jockey spit. Not quite going to get the spit spread. Maybe just a little bit. Could be another good start for Bot handling these safe room hits with relative ease. And uh, they're going to escape into the climb up. Ooh. Survivor or SI is not back up, and they will make it across and going to set up up top. Shotgun. Thank you, J Dot, for the vertical transitions, bro. Really, it makes it very nice to do that. Yes. And the Charger misses his rocket, and it was been close for the quad, but they're not going to get it. The Charger. Oh, he gets the hey. double, and they're double teaming the guy in the back. He's going for a ride. The damage, now that just came out there, double digits, almost 20 percent. Woo hoo hoo! I love it, and I miss just already got Papa's pills. Yeah, this is exactly. The sort of stuff that bot needs to get back into this uh you, you know you've got to stay locked in and that was a bit also they didn't bait out the explosion right they just sent it through and uh did not quite work out in their favor 100 charges sit of boom not the absolute most ideal uh, stairwell hit but i'm sure they're, they'll take it okay charge oh my god charges now the question is if they send in the spit I'm interested to see how this plays out. What if they don't have a spit for the run back? What if they don't have anything at all for the run back? I don't know. Hunter's in. Hunt spit, not quite gonna find it. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Spitter stays alive. Five Good. seconds left on this spit. Oh my. Okay, okay, this should be a. Oh. What do they do, MK? The tank is coming in. Oh, they run through it. And then they run. Whoa, 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 where are we going? Oh my god, okay. Wait, we run back in here? Tank should be committing if they. Tank they, should, they if tank oh should my have... god, what was that? I don't know what the infected were doing there. That was the time to commit. They let him retreat? <laughs> What is Bot doing? Purple wow. His teammates kind of let them out of the corner. Yeah. Interesting. They do have a lot of damage onto the survivors, though. We have to do take that into account. 36% already. Before his commit, he'll have his full spawns yet, yeah, but I think he's going to have to sack a boomer again. No, I don't know. Yep. Well, let's see. Purple. First pass. 35% frustration. He has the boomer. Boomer just goes in and dies. No attempt to try to land it whatsoever. Just stacking. And come to think of it now, I don't know if we're going to get a jockey or a charger. I didn't see the death at the end. Did you see it? No. No, so it's probably going to be a charger, my guess would be. And Purple's on his way in. He gets his hatchback. We might see the survivors retreat inside. And they're not going to have a charger. And looks like they're thinking about it. Oh, that car! Oh, not go! Oh my gosh, no! That's so close. He's going for it. Run past the survivors. Punches it back. Ooh, he's really focusing this car right now so much. He's oh got a hit. It'll be the in cap. The smoker has landed. 
He only has a thousand HP left, and I don't think he'll be able to get this grind. Oh, not oh quite. My. Nope. That was a little bit too close for comfort, right, but he will get the in cap. I owe you one. Um, but wow, that tank fight was kind of all over the place. We saw them maybe even think about going inside, but that setup with the smoker jockey that would have probably been pretty nice for the inside. So I like the decision to just take it outside. But of course, the jockey not getting cleared. Car done. On T with one second, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Hey, he's trying to do exclamation mark S. Oh, I get I it. I think I'm it. almost certain. Yeah. Beautiful ski on the hunter, by the way. Charge comes out with a stumble, but spit, nowhere to be found. Huh. Is that a wad sack? I didn't see the death order. I just heard the boomer die at the end. And I wanna say it is, but it could be another boom in the mix. Survivors take separate paths there. When two went up top and two went on the bottom, that's interesting. Yeah, spin with the interesting separation, but no SIs to capitalize on it with. We do actually I was completely wrong. I have the hunter just smoker jockey spitter. I'm a reload. Are they just gonna send it? This could be a this is a great place to send it. Weapons over here. Thinking about the spitter it. Spitter definitely wants to, but one goes down the manhole. Yeah, he's gonna go in from the bottom. Oh my. Look at him! Oh. Right in the face! Right in his face! Rolling doubles! Beautifully done! Babylonian deals with it in tow though. 425 bonus left. Respectful amount, but of course the damage coming through and uh, the, the chaos really, really, really unleashes in the sewers. And the transition from the sewers to above ground. So much room for massive damage. I'm not dead yet. Yep, the close quarters are here, but I don't know if they have spit though. They might want to go pretty quickly. And they know they're not gonna have one, and that's why they send it quickly. Charger dies, hunter dies. Here comes the jockey, here comes the boomer. Jockey gets scratched, boomer's gonna die off here. You know, have a tri-cap with the spit. There's no jockey with it. And they still have 354 points. And, yeah. But they still do have 35% of the map to go yet. Don't worry about me. Exactly. Okay. So, I personally don't really expect them to be able to hold on to much, if any, of this bonus. We'll have to wait and see. The hit still very possible here in the sewers. But they've made it past that really cornerstone choke point. This is going to be an off angle. They're going to take it. Charge is dealt with. Everything getting dealt with. They don't take too much damage at all for that. And the sewers, they're going to be climbing out of it pretty soon here. And the smoker doesn't die, which means they're not going to have the spawns they want for the top. The death order was not correct. There is no charge spit for the top now. They'll have a tri-cap with boom. Maybe even a 2-2. Two -two. Might be a poo too. No. No, it's not. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, they're gonna pick this apart right from underneath. They oh. get out. Oh my jockey! Down goes one. Hey, this could be actually insane. Okay, they do manage to mop it all up, but we see the bonus completely disappear. Uh, a, a magic trick by bot. The, the vanishing bonus coming out. It's gonna have 107 bonus left to play with, but look at the health bars here. And uh, all it's going to take is a few scratches to bring him down and start the carousel of, uh, you know, trying to pick up, knock him back down, etc, etc. Hunter charges jockey spit. Hunter gets dealt with. Charge will land. He goes down. And so does Spooky. Ooh. It might have been intentional, but I think the only points left now is on Mila. And now they'll be able to get to that safe room much quicker than they would have with, it, with that one survivor at 1 HP. But I think they're going to be able to make it. Babylonia should make it to the safe room now with maybe a couple points. All depends, depends on how hard they focus coach here. Oh! There's one! 
And they're focusing them hard too. Oh yeah. They know exactly what's up. They're not able to rip away all the bonus out of Babylonian Sands, but they do cut it back down. And it's just going to be 736 lock-in here for Babylonia, which it's very respectable, of course, that they made it the full distance. There's very much white potential on this tank. But with it being 40%, they've kind of got the run back as well, potentially, unless Babylonia plays it very well. Uh, so I'm interested to see this could absolutely be a breakaway moment for bot or it could just Completely blow away any potential they have for the comeback. It all hangs in the balance here Absolutely, let's see this 2-2 coming out and see if bot could take this a little bit better than Babalanya did They took it with minimal damage single digits, which is good less than 5% as well It's up to them to take the taint same transition and have the same outcome, but we're gonna have a little bit of a task to deal with that tank in the corner now. It's not an easy tank to mm. to get back on to be able to run yeah. back. I mean, it looks like they will have the time, but it might cost some HP to get through it. Right. Exactly. Okay, through Hunter onto Rochelle and the spit. Nope, she's safe. Love it. Love the setup there. Out of purple. Beautifully done. It will take 3%, but certainly nothing major, all things considered. Gonna hop up and keep it stepping. They're trying to push quickly, but Spooky is already gonna have a spawn, and Spooky Reloading. is a smoker. Reloading. It's dangerous up here. Look out! Charger Definitely. as well, Hunter is oh up too. My. And they're gonna have a quad try on the rooftop. This is not good for the survivors. I think if they know this, they would get the heck off there in timely fashion, but they're not doing so. Here it comes, Nah. Smoker lands, the charger gets a spawn. It's just gonna be a normal charge. The hunter falls to the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> and the hunter. Look at the. Oh. Dude, the he gets his one damage. <laughs> the hunter just took his hands off the keyboard, off the mouse from that happy. He put his hands right over his face because that was a very awkward situation but they'll find a little bit of damage nothing major gonna keep it pressing once more and uh they're gonna be approaching a stairwell hit gonna have to charge gonna have to spit great start there smoke boom Ooh, but we'll see if they can put out any damage but again uh the question becomes less of how can we maximize our stairwell damage and more of how do we make sure that we keep the survivors where we want them when the tank gets spawned in? And they don't care! Wow! Okay! They send that and they don't get much for their efforts. No, but more important, they, those two can run forward and spawn this tank and they can run back clean now, Nal. This yep. is a clean run back. This is a big play by Team Bot. There's still 8 seconds on the latest spawn timer. They're back clean with 90% bonus! And they have a great opportunity to take a command on this. And they can ace this tank in control of Aut Atatsuki, if I said his name right. I keep butchering yep. his name, I feel bad. But he's bringing his hatch back into play without delay. And he has a tricap, but he has no smoker. Question is, does he roll with it? It looks like it, now. Obviously, if the car got, the, uh, got an in cap here, it would leave Bot feeling very deflated. But... It does not always come out, of course, in this wide open courtyard and bot. Gonna send it back to the warehouse. We actually, I don't remember who it was, but we saw somebody, I think it was on UN. We saw somebody wedge the car inside and actually get it through. It was the craziest thing ever. But, Usatsuki, not gonna go for that one. He's just gonna climb up on top of the roof. Gonna be able to drop down here. Gotta charge your hunter jockey to help him out. Survivors in the meantime set up on the second level. Bravo drops down. Ooh, he drops smack. And he's got this corner on Bravo. Ooh, misses this, uh, it though. And Jockey will be able to find the follow up. The hits are coming out the rock. Actually, gonna be tossed there. Not quite the best coordination there. Jockey gonna get cleaned up. We saw Suki. He's still gonna. Ooh, missing a hit onto Acer as well. Acer immediately pops his pills. And they don't get hey, any in caps. Health total is not looking amazing, but bots gotta be All feeling right, pretty weapons. amazing because this is the start to their comeback.
Yeah, that's what they needed. The tank doesn't get very that much, but they're able to push on. They're going to have a 2-2 now. What is Akatsuki going to be? He is going to be a hunter, probably a pounce on the stairs. Not great spawns whatsoever. They're slowing down a little bit because the survivors don't know what they got. If they could shut down this hit, they have a good chance of getting to the sewer. Pretty much uncontested. But here comes the hunter. They don't get it. It's going to be damaged. The smoker's going to try to delay. And they get a pull through. And he's got to run through it. And what a hit coming out there for the special infected and all that. It's huge damage. Yeah, it's it's a rough situation. Catch twenty two that coach gets put into. Um, he even runs through the death spit, I believe, there at the end, just not wanting to get trapped up in it. And so that is going to leave them with less than seven hundred bonus left, uh, which isn't bad. But keep in mind they're down about seven hundred right now if they were to get full distance. So. Uh, they really need to be preserving through the sewers again. The, oh my God! The jump scare hunter into the triple cap. Okay, Babylonia not letting up even a little bit. And they juke me out and go the opposite way my camera went. <laughs> when they have options, you know. <laughs> right. They're gonna be able to keep Acer fa fast for a little while longer, but they still do have a bit of the map to go through now. They're losing about 100 points per hit, and if they yeah. keep this average up, they're not gonna be able to make it with big points as they set to go in here quickly. Can they shut down the Hunter this time? Hunters have been the bane of bot's existence right now, and they've been able to get it. They get the pull to pounce down. Whoa. Look at that spread down yeah. below. The big spread was damage. crazy. I think the spit spread caught three people, including the hunt spit target. That was crazy. I was literally what felt like a moment ago talking about 700 bonus. Now we're talking about 299. That was two and, hits ago. Uh, it was two hits ago. Look at the charge. Just completely catching him off guard as they start to get a little bit stressed and a little bit stranded. Purple, getting caught out, charge, connecting, and they've gone from 299 to 215, just like that. Talk about value. One SI sent, and they get all those points. They still got another hit here if they wanted to send it. It would be a little bit slap dash, and they are going to wait for Mila J to get back out. Start to a great hit. Jockey. Okay, wow. They, look, it continues. The bonus getting ripped out of the hands of Bot here, already down to 155. And those dreams of a comeback going to be dashed for the moment. They have to go into survival mode at this point, MK. Yeah, they're a little too separated. Even now, the separation is big. They got to remember some people are not as fast as the rest of them. And, yeah. and Babylonia took advantage of the separation. It's clean as day. And now they're going to have it. to deal with the quad at the top, and it's not looking good for Dude. Team Bot at all. Reload. They're just, they're already climbing up. We still got, oh my god, the hunter charge. Oh my goodness, it's max oh. They have to crawl back down. Oh man, oh, down goes Acer, down goes Bravo. And down goes the bonus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The bonus is no longer existent. There's a sliver on purple and ram. But I, I don't even know if it's going to be worth anything at this point. As they still have not got Bravo up. Spawns are about to be up. Here's the Spitter. Spitter trying to find something. They'll finally get him up. They have 13 points. But I don't know if it'll give it to them if they can make it. Oh, there goes the shutdown. No, they finally shut down the Hunter, but everybody's getting in cap. It looks like it's going to be a wipeout. Trying to get in there. They actually get the pick up. But down he goes back. Rochelle. Now it's all in Purple's hands. He goes for the pickups. And I think we are going to finally see. Well. Okay. Cut the tongue. Getting a little bit selective with which person he wants to pick up. Game clear. And there's a double boom. He will be able to pick up Acer finally. And they split up for the pickups. They really all in it here. Allows the hunter to pick up the litter. He's going to go for Acer's pickup target. And we still got the jockey. They cannot find these pickups. Oh my goodness. Look at Bob. Finally. 
And not quite. Oh my god, MK. I think Ram is gonna die though. Yes, he will. They lose Ramirez. But they won't lose his spray with the purple baby drinking the, I mean the drink, uh, baby drinking the purple drink. That is Ram's <laughs> uh, spray since the, the beginning of time from what I remember, but... Three survivors crawling now. Spawns are up, looking grim. Definitely, they've still got five or fifty distance that they can walk in too. And the snap of the neck, double boom, Rochelle gonna get hunted down. And we got uh, Robbo trying to make it across the finish line. He is. He's going to be able to lock it up. And at least he gets perfect uh, distance. He says, I found mine. How about y'all? And another chapter lost. This one is, I believe, the slightest loss so far. But uh, the wrong direction as far as a comeback. Yeah, that's not looking good. Now they're down about 900 now. It's going to be very, very difficult. And an amount of comeback, they're going to have to have a phenomenal chapter three, I mean four coming in here. Yeah. To either get back in one chapter or call the uh, next map finale. I don't know if they do finale, but it's a possibility now. Yeah, right. Of course, when you're down in the hole like this, it makes the finale comeback that much more exciting, but. Let's be real, they need a successful chapter four. It's non negotiable. Well, they do get a semi early tank, though, now. So, if we do, do a quick math here, Babalanya is going to get an additional, I would say, about 220. So, let's just give, let's put them at 3350. And if they're able to get the wipe at 3350 with 700 distance. They would need about 400 bonus to mount a comeback. That's what they're looking at for possibilities yeah. on plays made at the tank or beforehand. Yeah. That's the distance points that they're looking at. And I would say if Babylonia survives the tank and just makes distance alone without any bonus now, that's almost a GG. Yeah. In fact, it might already be because that's 900 bonus you're going to need. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. And they've got a big hit, too, right in the safe room. Jockey Charger Spinner. They land some stuff. There, where's the spit? Miley comes out. Jockey gets him too'd. And it's going to be a pretty good hit. Maybe could have milked it for a bit more with some more spit damage. But regardless, reloading. it's going to be pretty close to a double digit hit. Reloading. Yeah, they're out in the open. Only 1% left of that perfect score. No, good start for them. Uh -oh. They just got to soften everybody up. What happened? Yep. Guys, we're talking about perfect scores. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would never happen on this chapter. I don't care who you play now. Right. It ain't happening right. here. Yeah. There they go. They're going to just M1 from far away. The hunter oh. just gets skeeted. <laughs> and the smoker and boomer team up on one survivor and get about 3% damage out of it. Still and more going up on the boom guy. It's it's the return of the melting chargers, but they will be able to get in some damage, like you said. Need to keep it ticking down. More would be better, obviously, but uh, it's, it's more than you know getting completely shut down on these hits. They're trying to hopefully set up for the Cita van, but of course they will get through that. Uh, Got about five more percent this until this tank comes in. Desperation hit gonna be coming in shortly. Jockey, hopping around, having fun. At least you can say that. Reload. All right, tank gonna be in the hands of Acer. He's got a lot of work to do, but he's got a couple of cars to make it happen with. Let's see if bot can't come up big, especially with that support SI. Try to facilitate some cars, like uh, like happened on chapter one. On to them. Uh, we'll see if they can't reverse the curse in chapter four. First car. Decent bow. He hits the car yeah. with the other car, and they kind of explode. Luckily, we didn't see what we saw in Hard Rain that one time. Yeah, now. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Ooh, look at the boom. The boom is good. The pings are low though, so it's not as good as it normally would be. Mm -hmm. And but he's got cars coming in. He's got some comments coming, but he's slowing up a little bit. 
And there's not enough commons. And he might get pushed right now. He might just full out, just rush the tank right now. He doesn't have full support. Alright, he's going in here. Those cars are not in a favorable position, but he's got to go for big or go home. Here he goes. The first hatchback is out. Oh, so close. Not going to land. He is down to 3,600 HP. He has cars on both sides. He gets the pull here. He has to get a punch on the Nick. The Charger yep. lands, but gets cleared. The Hunter finds nothing. And Acer's kind of stuck out here with only a Hunter to help him. And the Hunter can't find the target. He does eventually. But it's going to get cleared. The Rock's going to miss. And Acer's going to die out here without an end cap now. 74% bonus left. Pill Pop, 72.1. 1111 one, one is the bonus. <laughs> I see that. And I don't know when I'll get to say oh that again, but God. that's yeah. what it is. An event coming up here, but no tank to threat. They might push the event. Yeah. You need some serious. I mean, you need a quad, need dead, need a death charge, need a death jock, a death something. Somebody needs to die right now. Multiple quiet. people, more better. Jockey on the head. I mean, look at that. Smoker gonna go in. Nothing. Spit. Avoid. Nice boom spit. I don't know if that, how intentional that was, but that was a beautiful stumble back into the spit. But. Uh, Babylonia is just going to take a chill, honestly. Coach wants to push this. Coach does not want to wait. You can tell there's Reloading. like some communication going on. The tracks, guys. Okay, they go with him. The death possibility is sooner rather than later. If they want to do it, they got to send it now around that opening yes. or they got to send it at the other end. There is no deaths further than this. Actually, I lied. It's at the very end, but here they go. It's actually a quad. Here comes the hunter, the charger. Oh, oh my gosh, no! That was so close. I mean, not just the charger, but also the jockey took a bit to get cleared. And if you ledge hang, you will die. So that was a really, really, really solid hit out of bot. A solid attempt, rather, out of bot. But they come up empty-handed once again. As an event comes up to a finish, unfortunately for them, they don't have a jockey or a charger for the end. So we're not going to see any death possibilities. We're just going to see a pound spit come. That spit's late, too. A little delay will come of it. And they'll be able to get through the opening, and no death is going to come upon them. And they are 55% of the way through the map and all, with still 60% of the points left about to put bot down. Right, I mean, they've, they've almost got a thousand bonus left. Uh, they've been shutting everything down left, right, and center. Yes, Nick took some damage during the tank, but it wasn't even in cap. He's got couple spills. He's still got some permanent health that he's working with, even. And uh, they do have the quad. I love it. Needs to be getting as many quads as possible. Send them, get another one, send it, get another one, send it, because they cannot be walking through. They need to stop right now. They don't even, they can't even let them get full distance at this point. They need to stop it right now. A hunter's around. And we got the hunter behind one of the train cars. Smoker ready for the climb up. Jockey yeah. off the three charge. Wow. Rochelle getting stumbled by the hunter, but just barely evading the charge hit all the same. Charge is not lined up perfectly with it. They will get a good amount of smoke, but that is going to be it. Yeah, Akatsuki pops the pills. They resume progression. Still over 50%. They yeah. did get double digits from that when they needed it, but it was a quad try, which means 2-2 two, two follows. Boom is spit up first. Hunter is there. They're not gonna, it's not going to be a smoker. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a jockey now. And it is. There it is. Huh. Okay, okay. They just sacked straight into a quad. They are going to send another one ASAP. No hit. fronting. Yes, they just exactly. The squad is the last attempt they get and all. They gotta land it or I... It's really gonna be GG if they walk in with any of this bonus. <laughs> and they find another set of pills as well. They pop them. Reloading. Do they send it here? Or do they send it on top of the tents? Reloading. Yeah, That's the real question. I think they send here now, but it, the time's running out for the charger to be able to make a play. Mm -hmm. <gasps> nice catch. Oh. Hunter as well. Smoker mopped up. Jockey not able to find a target. And that's that. They get in some more superficial. I mean, it's not superficial. It's actually pretty, it's a pretty good hit. It takes them down. 
a good few percentage points, but it's again a far cry from what they needed. 1300 plus point lock in for Babylonia after they're already up by what, like nine. a thousand? Yeah, 900. Yeah, so. I'm a reload. <laughs> they, they got the SIs trying to send it here, but. We got go. Can they? Okay, they can keep out safe for charge, smoke charge. I like it, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, a little bit more spit, but. Oh, man. At least they brought him down under 500, oh, but he's still going to be a 1,200 point lock-in. Reloading! Just take this. Yeah, look at those points. 4,312. Yeah, that is a big right. chapter, Nasty. and they need him out to come back with 13, 18 bonus on top of the distance. That is <laughs> theoretically possible, Nah. But the only <laughs> problem is they have about 140 points to spare to give to the infected team. I love talking about theory, but the thing is, most of the time, theory does not equate to reality. Spitter, jockey, charger, smoker, big hit out the gate. This is their first massive test, and uh, it could all fall to pieces here. How many times I've casted a match with this charge in a safe room type deal. Jockey going to turn it off. Smoker not able to find it. Charge, okay. In the spit, okay, minimal damage, but again, this is damage that bot can really not afford to let through. Four percent hit. Babylonia gonna be more than happy with that. Yeah, I mean the bonus that they needed. Now I forgot the pills were worth more than I thought, so they do still have about a hundred and change left to give. But that, but that's gonna be difficult. Like we said, yeah. they have a, a drop choke point coming up here. A hit to take before the tank as well. Boomer comes out, gets a double proxy. They were not ready for it. Cleaning up the commons, but looks like the SI don't have any intention of going, and they're gonna wait for their full attack. It would seem, though. No? Got the halfway or the uh, the choke point hit here, the choke point house rather, which is always a really interesting spot. Usually, haven't really seen Keep be able to capitalize it in the classic way, but it can still be quite the nuisance. They kind of just send him the hunter though, which is kind of interesting. Jockey Charger Spitter here. We'll, we'll see if they can't lock in any damage, but this should be good for Bot. Charger's caught out. He can't get his spawn. He's going to have to go back around. He gets uh, dodged to the left. And uh, yeah, it's going to be another hit in the books. Bot keeping it pressing. 8% down. Still have high hopes. I wouldn't say high hopes, but still have somewhat of a hope. Um, but as they approach the seed event, I think they'll be able to get through this. We got the smoker, boom. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Down. Interesting, bots, yeah, bot's chilling. Big ass pistol here. I think they know no matter what they're taking the hit, so they're taking their time. Yeah, I respect it. Trying to see if they can do this, but they've lost almost 9% already now, and they have probably have less than 9% more to give. Yeah. Oh, the separation, the hunter, nice the catches. slow the clears. clears. Yeah. And that yeah, will dip just... it below 1300. No, that would be it. Yeah, that was a nasty hit. There was just, uh, you know, these thick vehicles in between them that you just can't shoot through. You can't get the clears through that. And they keep ripping away, kind of an unorthodox style, but it works out perfectly. Survivor is going to be bringing it back to this wide open trailer park area with two cars that they're going to be aiming down, and they need absolutely nothing to come through. No hit. Oh, oh, the smack charge under Bravo. Jockey having fun on the back line. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, another day, another couple more percent. And that is, by the way, if he, I think if he goes to get that, he's stuck in there. I don't remember. I don't know how much that is true. I think I'm wrong. It's, it's a different spot. It's a different spot, not this one. Okay. Yeah, you can get out okay, there. Okay, well, yeah. Because I got stuck in there before, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the last tank of the game for Babylon. Well, it could be the last tank of the game. No, it I, could be. We could see one more chapter. Yeah. Let's see if Babylon can't shut it down here. Uh, they are waiting a good bit for the sack rotation, but Mila J in a situation where he can perfectly chill. 25% first pass, he's just relaxing, uh, you know, cracking his knuckles before he gets into demolition mode. Uh, he just needs a couple hits to really submit the victory for Babylonia. I'm going to smoke her boom, is what they're going to send in with. Boom will get a free one onto, I that, yeah, onto Nick. 
Now we're gonna get blocked by the tree. Nice use of the pipe or the, uh, the pole to their advantage. Again, blocking the vehicles with various objects. Hunter gets skeeted on the back line. Ramira is not gonna get caught out and isolated. This execution out of bot has been pristine so far. 2200 uh, HP left on Mila J. He's getting wrapped around. No SIs to help him out except for this charge. And look at bot. They're just gonna start walking it forward. They've got chapter to fill before they sleep here. They've got a lot to go. They're just gonna AI. start being efficient with it. Yeah, goes AI. Charge, boom, jock, ready to go. Boom comes over, nice clears. Bot, firing on all cylinders here. They still got 20, 12, 38 bonus. Let's see uh, what they can do here. I hope they realize how much health this tank actually has. That's not like a low health it's, tank. It's to, a lot. Yeah, that's right. 2k HP. Okay, he's gonna sacrifice a couple hundred here. Tank doing pull-ups. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Respect. He's got a plan. He's gonna throw another another swag rock off the top. Oh, he's just <laughs> doing pull-ups. He's flexing while the hit uh -oh. goes in. No big damage, and now he's gonna commit that his support is dead. Smoker Avoid, finally gets bro. cleared. AI rock no. No. Nope. <laughs> Avoid at all costs. All right, so AI tank dead. They dodged the quad as well, which is beautifully done. Bot is looking. I mean, they are. They want a finale here. I, they don't care what everybody else thinks. They don't care what everybody else thinks is possible. They want a finale. And they don't have a charger, but they got a jockey. They got to watch the okay. death jock now. They got to pay yeah. attention to it. As Bravo was just jumping where that area is. <laughs> nice ski. And twos. That was a nice shot. Some damage getting through, but they dodge everything. The boom summon comes once the spit had already dissipated. 1188 bonus. Bot taking it, like we said, taking it aggressively too. They don't take it back to the Humvee. They keep it forward. This is all or nothing for Bot. But we got another sneaky charge. It looks like he might want to go for something crazy. He's having some serious crazy thoughts right now. Rushing through his head. 3-1 uh, with the spit. He's going to send it. Not going to be the death charge. But, oh, look at the spit. They land the two. That was a lot of Chipping damage. Down. Though. That's a lot sure of damage. Was. Though, no. they, they, they lost like 180 from that. Yeah. And they need those points if they want to call for map 5. Because every point down is going to be more in the finale if they call for it. And if it would end right now, we're looking at about a 300 point delta. Even that might be too much, just in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm right there with you. Like, it's, 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 I guess, it, it, like, it's, it's a difficult situation because you want to talk about what happens, you know, 95, 99% of the time, but also there is that range it just depends on if teams are committed enough to want it but first they gotta lock it down nice sidestep with the charge jockey on the head no m2 to way not gonna let him drag into the spit and bot is keeping the damage minimal still over a thousand bonus left they've got a set of pills that they can walk up on two and a couple percentage points and wow bot is actually making a case for themselves here reloading Yes, they need to ace this next hit, though. I don't think they're really going to get many good attacks except for this one inside. This is actually devastating inside here, no. This is easy spawn locations for the SI, and I really don't see Bot taking this without losing about at least 150, just to how easy it is to hit on separated survivors, especially right. with that charger indoors. It's just my opinion on this area, and look at look where they can just simply drop from above. Tough take here. Tough take. Absolutely. Look at Babylonia here, though. Okay. They, they're still... They're relaxing. They're, they don't even care about uh, the hit as they walk in. They want it once they get deeper into this building. The hunter is still set up right above there on the shelves, ready to go in at a moment's notice. But they are going to let the, the survivors walk through a bit. And this is on a knife's edge right here. 1,025 points for bot. They're trying to get every single last point in. 
and they're about to spring the trap of Babylonia in just a moment. Nobody wants to fire first. Finally, that size will another charge dodge. Huntsfit will finally find some guaranteed damage locked in. Brings him down to 980, but they pop the pills, sure, but there's another set. Wow, they made it through. That was like 45 damage. That wasn't bad at all. It looks like those yeah. if they make it in here, we're looking at 350. This might be a call oh, for map five. Oh, 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 do it. Do it. But we got the Tinted still. Safe bot, house. it looks like to me like Bot really wants this, but they got to temper themselves here because the hit could very much still come in. Nice skeet. Oh my God. Charge it. Oh my God. Look at Bot. Look yeah. at them go. Look at, the, look at the points. Almost 1,700 points in one chapter. And we're going to the next map, boys. Let's go. Wow. Whoa. Let's go. No, we have a, wow. a heck of a finale coming up here. I cannot believe that they are going to be able to do this. We were talking about theory, calculations. I'm sitting there like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. They've lost every single chapter leading up to this. And then they get an absolute explosion. 1,700 pointer in one chapter. And it is enough to bring them within striking distance of some exceptional finale play to get oh, the win. No, I got this mixed up with the other finale. I forgot this Did is you? the road. Okay, I was thinking okay. in the water. I, what, which one am I thinking about? I, there, uh, there is I a hate spot. Mountains. I hate mountains is what I'm thinking about with the water. Oh, okay. There, there is a spot here where I swear they, you can go. There's like a bridge area. Um. Oh, but I, yeah. There is some water in there, and the SIs can spawn in there. So I was, I was like, yeah, I see what you're saying, because that is the spot. Like you, you get the quad there. You can catch them in a quad. You finally have ideal spots to hit around. You got both sides of the bridge. You got a couple cars. You got the big truck. So I was right there with you. But yeah, I see what you're saying now. But um, this is just the area with the all the cars. And they don't do much damage. But still, you don't want to get hit in the face by one. I mean, just because it's not going to kill you doesn't mean you want to just get smacked in the face by a bunch of cars. And it looks like now they have a the sub coming. sub. Okay. Probably Senji. Senji was in the chat the whole time, so I'm assuming Senji will jump in probably. Shout out, Senji. Y'all are going to see the next KIC highlight reel. Uh, Senji's tank, this was, I mean, I wish I had a better camera angle on it because it was, it was one of my best highlights of all time. So quick shout out to Senji. That dude is crazy. Uh, would love to see him hop in for for the finale here. All right, while we wait here for a minute, let's look at the schedule while we wait for someone to join. Yeah. See if we have any more additions real quick before we. No, no new schedules. I wait, like, wait, I wait, like wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Pockmock. They changed their time, I think. It's at uh it's at ten AM Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, yeah. So I think I think it's the same exact time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why they reposted that. Um The thing I like about Kings and Furnace Cup is they have the players lock in their schedule by like Thursday or Friday. Which um it just gives like a little bit of buffer. It lets us set up our scheduling properly and stuff. So I do. And there's Sinji. And the moment's call. We knew who it was. By the way, we posted there's a schedule. Everybody can follow the schedule if you want to see who's hosting which matches. You can follow Nock, follow my, myself. If you want Spanish casters, just, there's some Spanish casters. And we have a couple of Chinese casters as well. Whatever language is in your benefit, feel free to join any one of those that you choose. It's the glory of having a worldwide community working together to host these events. Love it. Love it. All right, here, now This is a static tank, so no matter what, and also one thing to note as well, remember, these cars are not in caps. 
Yes. They are they count yeah. as tank punches, twenty four damage yeah. per car. And the same as grind outs, you can't grind with them. Exactly. Opening yeah, attack, look at the hit though, doll. Spitter Hunter yeah, Darkens Charger. <laughs> okay, they get the hunt spit. Charge jocks, not quite. It's gonna be about three percent. Nothing major. And purple gets the extra tank for his team as well. See if he can do so with great fashion and get a wipe for his squad. A very difficult oh, tank to wipe with, oh no. Very difficult. Very. Okay, this time around gonna be Jockey Smoke the Hunter Boom. Hunter from behind the bus. Jockey hopping in from forward. Gonna land the two. Smoke still going at it. And we are going to have this tank coming in shortly. All of these cars are going to get locked in. Here. It's just a shame that they don't do nada. <laughs> yeah, right. And here it is. Purple final tank of the game for his team. As the survivors retreat backwards. Hopefully Bravo tells Purple that they don't do damage. As the survivors lose their bonus down to a perfect score. Down lower. As the jockey and hunter get a little bit of damage. And now it is purple smacking cars around for a couple of minutes. <laughs> he, he doesn't even want some of these. He's actually punching okay. them away. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Doing that on purpose. wait. oh, the wraparound. Oh, my. Okay. Let's go. Purple with the finale strats. Boom trying to get in there. They're going to deny. Oh, they've two by one. All right, he got his cars in there. And what did the survivors do? They walk away. Get the commons thrown off. These are a lot of commons. I don't know if they're going to come yeah. into play because they're so far. Purple bringing in the hittables, but they're not really going to be. I don't know. I don't know if Babylonia knows. Oh, they exploded. The cars are kind of doing their thing here. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is big. He could kind of corral them with him. He is down to 5,200. He punches one car around. He punches that one around. Now they're pushing forward, and they've made the oh push forward. God. And Go now he's going to be chasing them. The oh, SI do not coming. help. No, this is not good at all for mm. Bot. He is down to 5,000 HP. All the SI are kind of chasing him. He has 45% frustration. Jockey is about to die. And here comes Purple as he goes back over for cars. I don't think he realizes they're not incapable. And now he's losing his SI. Hunter is dead. Oh, the double climb up. He goes for a rock. Misses. And we have a dead tank on our hands. Sure do. Back to the quad dream. Boomer lands. Purple trying to hold on to this. Desperation rock. Not gonna happen. Charger. Miss. Get the car. Hittable car coming in. Not gonna happen. And purple is dead. Reloading. And purple gets a nothing as that as he still was low damage on the team with three. And it's not looking good for a bot without a quad landing from here on out, no. Oh my. Babylonia, give him the wraparound twice. The quickness. And uh, we're going to have the SI spawning back up. I, you know, reloading, back reloading. to the drawing board here. I want to see a quad. Keep it simple. Boom, spit. They are going to send it. They send the 2 2. I mean, this is a good place for a hit, but not really with the 2 2. Boom, we'll land on one. But, I mean, look at Babylonian here. 1,065 bonus. And uh, there's no room for bot to come back as it stands. No, even if they ace the map, right now 20% damage off of 1,200 is just not enough. And it's not enough point delta for them to mount a comeback. They need to get, a, if not a wipe here now, they need to lose all of the permanent HP. Because it is pretty much safe from here. The Hunter's bouncing around. The Jockey is up. The Charger has no spawn. The Smoker goes way early. 
Yeah. And nothing is going to land. It's going to be nothing on the board. Wow. And Badalanya, with one hit left to take, is about to solidify the W. And I don't think they lose a match in their group stage, as this would be Bot's first loss as well. These teams have been performing so well. Uh, but they have met their makers at this point. Got this last chance hit. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Hunter Smoker. Hunter coming in from behind. They need to lock in with the CIs wrapping around. Okay, another ski. The quad boom, sure. But it's looking like they're going to maybe make it in with over a thousand still. Wow, okay, there it is. Babylonia. This is going to be over 5,000. Nasty scoreline. Almost 6,000 a day. 5,936 to be exact. And look at the bonus required to get that. And we can do the math if you would like to now. And unfortunately, it falls shy 42 points. They can only put up 1320. Right. But either way, they'll finish off the second half of this and give us some entertainment as they prepare for their playoffs. Both teams will be in the playoffs for sure. Bot will yep. be a little bit more down on the, the seating line as Team Babylonia will be a little bit up on the higher end. I hear Find some gas, and opening guys. attack is going to come out. And again, this is the third time in this game they had this opening attack. And all great opportunity for damage as Bravo is still baiting it, trying to do Almost the best there. he can to avoid damage. Charger he misses. Jockey gets in the safe room. He goes out there by purple as purple goes and hunts down that charger and clean take by them. That's a 2%. Yep. Okay, gonna have the tank coming in here shortly. It looks like uh, Babylonia is gonna get another hit before that happens though. Smoker Hunter Jockey with the boom. They send it. Hopping around. Okay, nice double. So, oh, the jockey latching on. Smoker's just going to be scratching. Ramirez gets sent into a very unfortunate corner. And it's going to be a nice hit out of Babylonia. Yeah, that is double digit damage for sure. Plus, pills are gone. And here is the final tank of the game in the hands of their leader, Mila, as Bravo is really aggressive. Yeah! Everybody grab a weapon. Look at him! Yeah, look at him! The charger oh. misses! Oh, look at this song! Take it away! Okay, Hunter does catch quick clears though. Mila J is just gonna get hunted down. Hey, coach getting hit by that car. And the Bravo gets hit by a car. They are just chasing him down. Mila goes for another one. Oh, hits him again. One more time. One more. Opa. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, 900 HP left. Meat shielding for a bit. Smoke a full. Maybe some more car action. Come on. He can't fit that. Oh. <laughs> Bravo ran up and hit him with a melee. <laughs> yeah. You suck at shooting. Oh, man, Bravo. They will survive the tank. They'll lose about half their bonus, but they're going to make it. They will survive, and it looks like by the Ammunition. math that's here now, if they hold on to it, they will put up 5,000 points of their own. Just not quite enough to even it out. Yeah, super respectable scoreline. Was not a stomp by any means, but Babylon just had the upper hand until Chapter 4. It really got away from them. That was an insane moment. But they just couldn't get the ball rolling here on the finale. Uh, again, beautiful hit. This is exactly what Bot what needed to make happen on their side. Uh, just landing some nice hits, keeping them in a spit. And that's that. Bravo is common lock so badly right now. He just happens to keep getting hit by a common right behind his back. I know the feeling now. It sucks, but Definitely. here they come up to clean in a pointless car alarm because it's bored anyway, so I don't know why it's there. <laughs> it's there just for nostalgic purposes. But here comes the final hit. It is going to be a pull forward landing. Someone got a little overzealous. The Chargers get a bully. Never mind about the 5,000. The GGs are coming out. I think Ramirez is going to die, actually. Ramirez is dead. 
He leaves. They kill the bot. The charger lands. The spitter lands. Bravo walks through the spit. The hunter's on the survivor's head. Bravo goes down. Acer goes down. Purple is still green HP. Yeah, he's 80 HP here. Ayo. As the Purple GGs go over. out. Yeah. And that will be the ending. Babalanya getting the victory over Team Bot. 5,936 to 4,559. GG.